Hey everybody, welcome. It's Andrew Ains with Golf Academy. A very warm welcome to you. Um, if you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed to it, do us a massive favour and click on that button down there and then you're subscribed. It'll be great to uh, have you along watching the videos. A little bit of a different one today. Normally I'm doing reviews or instruction or something like that. Now and again, people say to me, I've got a load of second-hand equipment. I'm moving house and I want to get rid of it. Any use for you? And sometimes I say, look, maybe just bring it in and I'll have a look. And sometimes I'll sell it for them on eBay or I'll give them a price for it and resell it on. Other times it's kind of worthless. Um, so what I've got here in this bag is, is a load of old equipment, which probably is going back 20 years plus. So I thought it'd be quite fun just to have a little delve into this bag, talk you through a few bits, might even have a hit with a couple of these items in a minute. Um, so I'm just going to switch the cameras around here and um, we're going to get in and have a look at what's in the bag. I'll be right back. Okay, here we are. Time to delve into this old bag of clubs and it's first of all, just, just take a look at the bag. It's an old Maxfly um, bag. Maxfly was a sort of a division of Dunlop Golf. And this is real old school, isn't it? Look at it, a vinyl cart bag. Uh, wow, that is old. And I think it's been modified here. I think he's, he's actually stuck um, some furry material in it, because I doubt that was graphite friendly when it was first uh, launched, but it, it, it looks like he stuck bits of fur on it. I don't know quite what he's done on that. But anyway, let's go and have a look in the bag. Here's a classic to start with. Anyone remember this one? The Callaway Warbird, great big Bertha, 10 degree Ruger Titanium. I remember selling these. They were loads of money back in the day. And uh, have a look at that close up the behind um, the golf ball. I th first time I saw this, I thought it looked absolutely huge. But uh, in comparison to what we're using now, it's tiny. Uh, moving around the bag over there, we have a Callaway 7 wood, big Bertha, which then went on to be called the Heavenwood. So we had Heavenwood as a seven. Uh, we had a uh, Divine Nine wood, and I think something called an Eli wood, which was an 11 wood. A trusty G5 ping there, 460cc. Have one of those, brilliant driver. Not quite as old as, as this one. Um, 2004, five maybe for that one. Um, what else have we got? An original Callaway Big Bertha fairway wood. I'm guessing these were going back to about 92, 93, something like that, um, which then was super, super replaced with this one, which was the Callaway Big Bertha Warbird with the, with the Warbird sole. Um, and these things went on to be like, the biggest selling fairway woods, golf clubs in the world, really. There's another original Callaway Big Bertha. And they were groundbreaking, weren't they, Callaway, when they first came out? Um, doing stuff that no one else had done really. A very dirty Callaway Big Bertha Steelhead number five there. And now we move on to an absolute beauty. This is a Tiger Shark. Now there's a name from the past. Tiger Shark Parallel Power, 10 and a half degree lofted driver, steel shaft, of course. Now look at this fella behind the ball. We are gonna have a hit with that. I reckon that's gonna be a load of fun trying to hit this one. Uh, just tiny, isn't it? A um, couple of putters. This one will jog your memory. An original zebra putter by Ram. My goodness, I had one of these when I was a boy. This was like the dream putter to have. This one's seen a lot of action, hasn't it? But these were face balance putters um, used by some of the top players in the world. Again, kind of a breakthrough putter that was. And then the other one which caught my eye was this one. This was one of the original Odyssey Dual Force Rossi 2 putters. Again, one of the early putters to have an insert. Had one of these as well. Uh, not in this colour, just in a silver, and they were brilliant. So there we go. There's a little look in the bag of, I want to say, goodies. Uh, maybe not goodies anymore, but they were at one stage. Let's pick a couple of clubs and go and have a hit with them, shall we? That could be fun. Right, we're in the hitting area. You'll have to excuse, I've got the builders in next door. All sorts of racket going on, saws, hammering. So if you hear some funny noises in the background, apologies. Um, I've got the Callaway Warburg Great Big Berth, 10 degree. It's in a regular flex. I've just measured the length of it, 45 inches long. Long time since I've hit one of these. Um, let's give it a hit. It feels, I think because the size of the head's small compared to what you're used to, it feels really long, uh, but it isn't. You know, 45 inches, but it feels about 40, 10 inches. It's, uh, there we go, let's give it a hit. 
Not a bad strike that. It was a little bit out at the bottom. Um, let's see the numbers. I think the, the thing we really notice now about older drivers is the amount of spin which they create. I mean, if we go in and have a look at the numbers on this, hit that pretty good. Club speed at round, well, ball speed. Let's do ball speed. More accurate on this GC2. 145 and a mile per hour ball speed. Uh, 224 yards of carry. But look at the back spin rate, 3,792 from a 10 and a half degree launch angle. And that, that wasn't a bad strike. I, I didn't hit that badly at all. And I was hitting a few clubs in testing with this and those generally were the numbers. I was really struggling to get this thing past 230 carry. Um, with those numbers with a modern driver, I'd, I'd be looking at another 20, 30 yards of carry. So it just shows you how things have improved. As, as we would expect, I'm going to go and get that um, tiny little driver and scare myself. I'll be right back. Right, comedy time coming up. The Tiger Shot System Match Parallel Power Driver, 10 and a half degree. I can't imagine this was a big seller. I certainly don't remember it. First thing to say, it's fitted with a regular shaft and I'm not applying a great deal of pressure here to this shaft. Look how whippy this is. It does say it's regular, but it feels more like a, a super whippy fishing rod. It's, it's a bit twangy to say the least. We're gonna try and give it a hit. I don't hold a lot of hope with this, to be honest. It looks like the tiniest thing behind the ball. The grip's in good shape. It's about the only positive thing I can say about it. Wish me luck. Whoa. <laughs> That was really high on the club face, but it, it's kind of gone. I tell you what, that's done a lot, lot better than I expected. I did hit a couple in practice uh, before I filmed this just to uh, give myself a chance. And they weren't as good as that, I can tell you. Um, so 90 miles an hour club speed, 131 ball speed, 207 carry, spinning at 3000, launching at 40. I had to really concentrate to hit that shot. I'll tell you what, if you just miss this ever so slightly, you are gonna look really stupid, uh, which is entirely possible on the next shot. Lengthwise, I don't think this is much longer than about 43 inches long, and maybe 43 and a half, and that's what drivers used to be back in the old days. Here we go. Well, oh, that's going left. That is going so far left, we will never see that one again and that shaft there just went whang, head closed down um i think i could hit a lot of shots with this golf club left very very easily um quick look at the numbers 190 carry 50 yards left of center that one went um yeah there we go so today was just a little bit of fun it was a look back at some old clubs which somebody had found all stored in the garage and it just goes to show how much things have improved and um, certainly have made the game a bit easier. That would scare me to death, pulling that club out on a Sunday morning, um, not having hit a ball for a week or two, peg that up on a 420 yard par four, you'd be, I'd be scared. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Post your comments down below if any of those clubs bring back some memories for you. Thanks again, goodbye.